What is going on guys? Robo Pride Game and Topic Kessler here and welcome to the video. This is number two of the Stanley Parable. Now, as you guys know from last one, we played it regularly through following everything that uh following every every single order that the narrator gave. Now for this one, we are actually going to be defying a little bit of his rules and stuff like that. And we're just going to have some great times doing it. There, I think there are like four endings. I'm not sure. But we're going to go ahead and get started on that. So let's go ahead and get started on that now. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul waiting, Stanley relished every moment as the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, so you guys uh, know that we um, we got everything. We defied. We didn't defy him one bit. Now we're going to kind of defy him a little bit. Already this was uncomfortable. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Let's see. When Stanley came to the set of two open doors, he entered the door on his own. Do I? Do I now? Do I want to? Nah, let's go. Let's go to the, let's go through the right door. The correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, this is a nice meeting room. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yes! Oh, yeah. I can feel the creative juices. There's also cool. Too. Oh, I can feel the. Oh, yeah. Nice. Shut up, game. Uh, shut up, man. I'm trying to fig. I'm trying to drink this all in. Yes, it was. Be quiet. All right, time to go. Let's go. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. First open door on my left. Or do I want to go? Nah, I'm gonna go straight. Stanley was so bad at following. Hey! It's incredible. He wasn't five years ago. Hey! Stop it! You're the one narrating my life. All this time, there's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying. No, I'm gonna jump off. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero 
consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Hmm, red door. But I like blue. Blue's my color. I'm gonna go for blue. Let's go blue. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Eh, I'm still going blue. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. But the blue one's so nice. What's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yes. Is it worth ruining the entire story I'd written out specifically for you? Yes, actually. I put a lot of time into that because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. I'll tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Uh, but I want to go through these now. I'm going to go through these doors. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited... It was horrible! Choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Okay. It was horrible. I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. The world leaderboard. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's very encouraging. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking? What was what was that game? Come on now. Hey. You know no. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of the new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? I'm not helping you. Hey, I said I didn't want you help. Oh, shit. Towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting Oh, look at it, baby. Alright, fuck you, baby. Sorry, but that's what it is. <laughs> More of the spite you, I don't hate babies. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out, I'm out, I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like 
It's Minecraft! If you guys actually watch my stream, you'll see it's Minecraft! It's Minecraft! It's Minecraft! It's the original Minecraft too, it's not that like fake stuff. Can I just say something? That is one of the worst Minecraft houses you can make. That's like the most basic thing you can make. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You trapped in a glass box. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm taking this with me. I love this game so much though, like no joke. this all day Okay, I'm going to be honest, I do like it in here, it's pretty nice, let's go.
Oh, they did not. So if y'all don't know, this is the actual, like, this is the Half-Life 2 mod for it. This is Half-Life, like, this was made for the Half-Life 2. See, cause look. There's a, there's a 427, you go around here, two open doors, left door, take this down to the meeting room, you take this down to the meeting room, and stuff like that, and then, yeah, this is that Half-Life 2 mod, it's, it's it is a Half-Life 2 mod, is what it is. It's pretty cool. I, I always think it is. I thought it was really, really cool. When they made this Half-Life 2 mod. See, because here's the original console. Here's the original console and stuff like that. This is all the original stuff from... from the game. Okay, guys, well, that's going to end this video. That was one of many endings that are part of um, Stanley Parable. There are a few um, to the game and stuff like that um, that we have not yet seen. That's going to be in the next video. Now, the videos are going to come every other day, um, so, so you'll get a dose, of, um, a dose of that and stuff like that. Um, I love this game. Um, I've I actually played the Half-Life 2 mod and they did a really good job with it there and it's a good thing that they actually remastered it for um you know for its own like standalone game. And you know, it was really cool the fact that they brought Minecraft and Portal 2 into this. The creators at Galactic Cafe are do really well with their with um with this game. I wish that they would make they do a little bit more because like they the way that they create stuff is amazing. So, but let's go ahead and end the video here, guys. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure that you drop a like on this video. Also, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so that way you know exactly when a video goes live and stuff like that. Um, but until next video, I'll see you guys later.